coming to you from my hostel room here in Hamburg, Germany. I'm just sitting on my suitcase right now. Look at this backdrop. Hashtag travel goal. If you guys have been watching the German series, you know I got in here through train using the German rail pass, which is one pass to train them all. It's basically one train pass that lets you train across Germany. I'll leave the info in the link in the description. It took about an hour and 40 minutes, maybe two hours to train from Berlin to Hamburg. Super easy. It's already 3 p.m. I had to work all morning, afternoon. So let's just go ahead and start today's food crawl. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Hamburg, Hamburg. think of Germany, you'll probably think about Lederhosen, beer, Oktoberfest, sausages, but Hamburg is very, very, very different from that. That's really just Bavaria. And the reason is because Hamburg is built up around a port, so it's a port city. You cannot escape the smell of fresh sea air everywhere you go. And because it's by the port, you can imagine their traditional dishes include, include what? What? That's right, fish. Lots of fish. And I love fish. So I make sure no one's looking when I say that. <laughs> this is kind of fishy, isn't it? Hamburg is really proud of its medieval history. It was a free city, it was part of the Hanseatic League, it was the port for immigrants to enter the new world. It really is the gateway to the world. It's a great phrase. I saw it online somewhere and I thought I recited. This diverse and cosmopolitan city has so much to offer. I'm so sad I only have a day here, but we're gonna try as many dishes as we can, like we always do. I really want to try a simple breakfast pastry that you can only find here in this city. And luckily, there's a stall like literally right next door, so we're gonna go. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Over yonder, my friends. Right, fam, we are here. I wish you can smell this right now because it smells so, so good. You got that cinnamony, buttery pastry smell just filling up the entire train station. Woo! I wish there was a way for me to like throw the smell at you guys through video. Anyways, we're currently at Friends and Friends, which is a stall that sells one of the traditional pastry here in Hamburg. And I have it right in my hands. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh, it smells so good. The literal translation of French brochure is French roll, and I hope I'm getting the pronunciation right. Probably, probably not. It's got a lot of butter, a lot of cinnamon. I got the one with chocolate because your girl loves chocolate. Mmm, oh my god. Yum. Holy smokes. That layer of cinnamon, it is absolutely delicious. If you guys can imagine a cinnamon bun smushed into a flatbread and just covered and covered in butter and delicious chocolate pieces. That's basically what this tastes like. It is so soft, it's so delicious. Mmm, praise the Lord, this is so good. The dough is just slightly crusty on the outside, but when you bite in, it's just soft. It's like, mmm, mm. oh my God. Woo. Woo. All right, I'm gonna go finish this as we go to the next stop. Let's do it. I was walking, I walked by a dim sum restaurant and it took all my power, all my self-control to be like, no girl, you're on a Hamburg food hunt. So thumbs up for self-control, you know, I do it for you guys. <laughs> Damn, I miss dim sum. Now the thing about Hamburg, it can be real expensive. Brings me back to San Francisco, which is also by the water, so. <laughs> Some similarities there, right? I was able to find a restaurant that had a cheaper price for the dish we're about to try and actually the waitress just handed it over to me. This right here, oh my gosh, it's such a big plate. Look at this. Ooh, man, that that smell is something else. This right here is the Lapkaus. This dish is made from corned beef, mashed potatoes, onions, pickled beetroot, which gives it that little shade of pink here and there 
and you can have a side of fried eggs or fish. So we're not trying it with fish right now because that's what we're about to try next. I mean, on a scale of like one to 10, how photogenic this is, it's, you know, pretty scoring pretty low on the scale, but let's hope it tastes delicious, right? Oh my gosh, look at this mushy mashed potato texture. It's almost like beans, actually. A big mouthful of corned beef or salted beef. I think there's onions in there. I really don't know, I just gotta try it. Okay. Mmm. My goodness. That is effing good. <laughs> you guys, that is so, so good. Mm. There's literally so much flavor in one bite. Imagine mashed potato, throw in that corned beef, salty flavor. Damn, I did not expect that. We're gonna give you guys some egg porn right now because why not? Oh, look at that. Oh. Well, this dish is supposed to be a delicacy here in Hamburg and across Northern Germany. You know, when we eat corned beef for breakfast with an egg next to it, that's what I think of. But this tastes so much better because it has that nice mashed potato texture. It just literally dissolves in your mouth. It's like, ugh. Mm. To be honest, when I saw photos of this, I didn't expect this, but wow. For the photos online, the mash part is much, much more red, and that's caused by the beet juice. So here, I can barely taste the beet, to be honest. But we're gonna get a chunk of it, dip it in this mash. Mm. That's fresh beet. Okay, you guys, just one more bite for you. Kill back. A single ticket adult is Stop. We are right next to the river. We just smell that seawater. It's very, very relaxing. We're currently here at a restaurant that's very, very popular. Actually, there's like a line right now. They're known for their fish brochen, which is a basic fish sandwich. Within the sandwich, there's herring, maybe shrimp, crab meat, served with onions, pickles, a ton of other stuff. This is a pretty basic one. I asked her what was the difference between this one and another sandwich that had the white fish, and she said the white fish was sour and this one was salty. I have to be honest, I love fish. I love fried fish. I love fish and sauce, sashimi. But there's something about this particular texture and it, it just, I don't know what it is that doesn't sit too well with me. It's got a kind of like a slimy, glossy look. It bothers me, but I know a lot of people might not even like notice that. But because we're in Hamburg, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Maybe it'll taste delicious. I'm gonna actually taste the fish first and see what it tastes like. Oh, oh wow. Oh my goodness, that is salty. <laughs> when you take a bite of this fish, the salt just blasts through. It's seriously so intense. If this one is salty, I can't imagine what the sour one tastes like. It must be so, so sour. I'm gonna get a bite with the bread and the onion. Maybe that will balance out the ultra saltiness of the fish. Tastes better with the bread and the onion. Fish is so salty. I wish there was more pickled onion, lettuce, or something to balance out that crazy flavor. But you know what? I can see why this is such a favor. The fish is very fresh. I'll be honest, it's not my particular favorite. Um, I think the fish is a little bit too overwhelming for me. I kind of wish I tried the one with the shrimp. That one looked really good. Maybe some of you guys who like salty fish, who like pickled fish, uh, I think you'll really like the sandwich. This right here was three euros. I know you can get cheaper ones. I'm just gonna take one more bite to give it one last chance, see if I really like it after that. Mm. 
This dish takes a little bit getting used to, but I'm still glad I tried it because it's a very traditional cuisine here in Hamburg. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Hamburg fish sandwich. We are gonna go eat dinner now at I think a traditional Hamburg restaurant uh, with a patron. So Patreon is a platform that lets you support creators on a recurring basis. I have patrons on there and we chat, we give updates. One of the patrons actually lives around Hamburg, so we're gonna go grab dinner. He's gonna show us some delicious dishes. Local showing us food to eat. Yes! How are you? It's so amazing. I know. Hand up. Oh, wow. <laughs> dish of the day. I know we ate so much today is the Hamburg pan fish. Matt was saying that there's actually three different types of fish on here. There's mustard, you know they love their mustard, and of course potatoes and some little garnishes here. We got carrot, we have pickles. So this dish was actually recommended to me by Marius. Uh, Marius is one of my subscribers. He told me that I have to try the pan fish. All right, so let's see if Flake Oh yes, that's fish one, we're gonna go, oh fish two, yes, oh look at that juicy flaky fish. I like how all the fish is like lightly fried, but inside, look at that, it's just juicy juicy. Guten Appetit! <laughs> we're gonna try the salmon right now with the mustard. Oh yeah, that's good fish. We're gonna dip into this saucy mustard. Oh, you guys, check out that yellow glossy hue. Mmm. It's basically fish with mustard, but I think what's so special is like this is fresh fish. And you get three different kinds in one plate. I mean, when are you gonna get like three different kinds of fish at once, right? All right, panfish. I can get down with panfish. This has got to be one of my favorite places here in Germany. Going to a city, the food can tell you a lot about where you are, and if anything, you just learn a thing or two about what other people eat, right? Tomorrow, I'm taking an early flight out of here, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in another country. Bye!